Hi, welcome to the Smarts Team tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to create different segments within the MailChimp platform. So first you're going to have to obviously sign into MailChimp and once you get logged in, the next thing you're going to want to do is go over and select the list that you would like to edit. So you can go up here in the menu settings, go to lists, and right now we're going to take a look at the wholesalers list because that's what we're primarily interested in uh, for this particular client. But what we would like to do is go in and create some segments. So you can see here that there's different tabs at the top. We have our settings tabs, there's list names, defaults, etc., etc., um, as well as the ability to add subscribers and manage the subscribers, as well as take a look at the different stats here. But today we're going to take a look at the different segments. So what we're going to do is once we click on that, we'll be redirected to the segment section, which from here we can create a segment. And there's different ways that you could sort out how you would like to create these different groups. For this particular example, this is an integrated platform that is connected to Magento, which has brought in the fields of the customer group. So what we would like to do in this case is separate each one of these customers with inside this list into different segments. So if we wanted to send it to one particular group, we can do that. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to say subscribers match any of the following conditions if the customer group is general. So let's go ahead and preview the segment. And so there's 19 subscribers that match these conditions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the visible because these are all within the general bucket. You can see selected all the way up and down here. And now I'm going to save the segment, but you could also see that there's the toggle columns. I can export the segment if I wanted to create this into a separate list. Um, and as well as other actions as well, I could move this list to a different list if I wanted to. So let's just say I wanted to create a new list and move this segment into their own group. I could do that as well. Um, I can also copy this over. So if I wanted to have them in two different lists, um, and then the VIP is if they are a special subscriber, but we were not going to go over that now. Um, you'll also notice there's save and edit as well as more, um, where you can send a campaign to the segment directly from here without actually uh, separating them out. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save the segment. And since this is the general bucket, we're going to call it oh, general. And we're going to save this. So you'll say that you're, sa you're saving a segment with the following criteria, subscribers match any of the following conditions, you just want to double check, is general, correct? And auto update, so what is this? Uh, leaving the auto update option checked ensures that all subscribers that match your criteria are pulled into the segment prior to each send. Unchecking the auto update option will create a static segment that only includes the subscribers in the list at the time of creation. So since we want every single one of the new customers that gets imported to the list to automatically get sorted out into the general bucket if they are general, we're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, so uh, what did that do? That created a segment for us. How can we go back and check? Manage subscribers, then come back to segments, and you'll see that we have a general list, um, which was created today at this time and auto-updated. So let's go ahead and create the other segments here. I'm just going to kind of quickly go through this, but I'm going to follow the same exact process that we had from before. I'm going to save the segment. And this one is called the Power Team. Go ahead and save. Okay. See that it was created, the power team. So I'm going to go ahead and create this other segment here. You can see that after you get the hang of this, it's actually pretty easy. Create the diamond team.
Okay, so it looks like there's no subscribers that are in this uh, condition, so I'm just going to back out. And I'm going to go back and try and create a the last segment in the group that was here, which is not logged in. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what's going to come up here, but there are a few people, so uh, let's go ahead and segment this uh, list. Oh, whoops. And I, perhaps they probably want to come back and try and put these customers into their own bucket later on so they make sure that they're sorted into the right one. But for now, uh, we could segment this list and uh, that way we can identify these customers as they're coming in. Now, there is one thing I want to just double check to go through. And if you caught that maybe the first time, uh, it wasn't that I selected the different subscribers, just wanted to make sure. And it looks like that that step that I was doing there, selecting all of them was sort of arbitrary because it was already selected within the list. Um, so that could probably save you a couple of seconds with not having to do that. Uh, but that's the that's it. That's pretty much you've created this these different customer segments. And then what you could do if you'd like to see what this will look like on the other side to see why am I doing this in the first place. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a campaign. And we're just going to go through this really quickly just so you could see that now that when you go to see which list shall I send it to, um, remember we split up the wholesalers list, but we can save to a segment now, uh, or send to a, a saved segment. So let's just say we wanted to create an email blast that only goes out to the general team, power team, diamond team, gold, or not logged in. Uh, we could do that. So let's just say we wanted to create one for the general and send out that way. We can send out that to a specific list, which follows the same exact um, steps that you would normally go through to create a campaign. It's just now it won't send to the entire list. It will only save to the specific segment that you select. So thank you for taking the time to watch the tutorial. We hope it's helpful and we hope you have a great day.